Well, far too many people across our state struggle when it comes to having basic access to health care, and that also includes many people who have served our country. And oftentimes, veterans face their own unique set of challenges in just navigating the VA, VA's very complex system. Griffin Rushton shows us how a local woman is helping break down those barriers in this week's Pay It Forward. Steve Rigstad hasn't known Jennifer Wellman very long. It's been about uh, two months I've been seeing her. But in that short time, he saw something admirable in her. I would say just the fact that uh, uh, she helps every person, not just, just me. Uh, from what I've seen before uh, on other doctors, that's necessarily the truth. So. It's good that she does that. Wellman and her business partner host walk-in clinics on Saturday afternoons, offering acupuncture, massages, and other therapeutic services for people who can't get it elsewhere, especially veterans like Rigstad. She told me she deals with PTSD, uh, anything from broken ankles to people with uh, mobility issues to uh, just co marriage counseling, big, big gamut of stuff on Saturdays. And Rigstad knows those services aren't always easy for veterans to find. The problem I see with uh, the VA especially is that uh, you have to be referred to the VA in order to get uh, some sort of health care that you need. Uh, in this case here, if I had a problem with uh, my health, which I don't, but anyway, if I had a problem with health, I could go to her. Rigstad says he was actually referred to her clinic by the VA and was encouraged to learn it's a pay what you can operation. The fact that uh, the clinic is free for a lot of people, uh, it would make sense to me that it helps people that can't afford it. So. All right, we are outside Jennifer's clinic here in Knob Hill. Steve, are you ready to go pay it forward? Yep. Perfect. All right, we got $400 for you right here. Yep. All right, take us inside. Wellman's clinic can see up to three people an hour during the Saturday clinics, but fortunately, we caught her at during a quiet time. Hi there. This is uh, Jennifer Wellman. Uh, I think that uh, she's really helped me on uh, my physical therapy, um, helped me with massages. Um, sorry. Anyway, uh, that's the reason why I want an optimist nominator for pay it for. Wellman is also a rabbi, so she asked her business partner to accept the money on her behalf. But the gratitude was all hers. Great. Thank you so much for this honor. Thank you, Thank you, you so much, Stephen. Sure. It's been my just my honor to have you as my client. Wellman and her business partner say their free clinics evolved out of witnessing the difficulties in the modern health care system. A lot of times health care, there's a lot of barriers for people to receive the care that they need. Um, right. Sometimes cost, sometimes insurance, a lot of times availability. Doctors are very busy and um, we were getting very busy so we decided that we wanted a walk-in service where we could see more people together. And they say our state makes it easier to offer their services to the people who need them. Uh, we are so lucky to live in the state of New Mexico because we can offer alternative therapy as a general practitioner. So people that prefer acupuncture as a form of pain management or they prefer herbal medicine versus allopathic medicine, they have that option. Helping veterans like Steve one weekend at a time. A hug. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much, Steve. Right. Paying it forward, Griffin Rushton, KOB4.